The year is 2018. I'm a freshman at Florida Atlantic University. It's a good school, just low key. Wasn't my first choice. I really wanted to go to UCF. That's where my friends are. My classes are all right. I'm anticipating making friends, but I don't really. Things are okay until they're not. Tragedy strikes. My dad passes. Now I'm depressed. Haven't gone to one party yet. Haven't even gotten drunk. What am I doing? Still depressed. I get my first seat. Not doing too hot. Finished out the year with okay grades. Still no friends. And still depressed. Summer's here and I need a change. I have enough credits, so I take the leap of faith and transfer to UCF. Yay. Happy. Problem solved. Not really. Still depressed. I live on my own now. Kind of. I have three roommates. Four if you count the dog. Which I do. Because she's bigger than me. I like living on my own. It's fun. Except for my upstairs neighbors. They suck. Everything I wanted from FAU, I experienced in Orlando. Had lots of fun. Made lots of memories. Don't remember half of them. Things are great. Until they're not. I don't feel fulfilled anymore. Consider going home. Sad to leave my friends. COVID-19 wins the NCAAs and becomes the champion of our life. Decided to sign to move back home with my mom and my sister. Miss my independence. Question if it's the right choice. Decide any a purpose. Consider starting old YouTube channel up again. Then take a 180 and delete all the videos. Start a completely new channel. Make videos that really express my feelings. Maybe a little too much. 14 months later, here I am. Thousand subscribers. On the hunt for 100k. Oh, and I graduate in December. So I can only imagine what's next. <sighs> that's, that's a lot to unpack. That's a lot. If you're going to college in the United States, chances are you're starting this week. Actually, possibly the day that I'm posting this. If you're going back to school, good luck. If you're starting school for the first year and you're a freshman, good luck. So it felt like a good time to sit down and make this video. I basically just wanted to be real and talk about my college experience from when it started up to the point it's at thus far. I am graduating soon, so that's been in my mind lately. And of course I knew that, but I think it's been hitting me more ever since I've been getting emails for the new fall semester. So I've been reminiscent and I've been thinking about things more and it's just been a reflective time. Sitting down to write the intro for this video kind of made me realize how much has really happened in the last three and a half, almost four years. My mom has always told me that high school through college, those are like your years. Enjoy your time being a kid still before you're an adult in the real world. Have fun, let loose. But I've definitely come to realize now that they were not the best years of my life. I think the best are yet to come, which is exciting. I feel like I wish that I knew going into my freshman year that there is no typical college experience. The experience of college that's depicted in movies is partying, drinking, smoking weed, but that's not typical. When you go to college, you're gonna meet so many different types of people. There really is no one linear experience when you're in school. I think what I'm mainly trying to say is don't go into school with any expectations of what your experience may be because it's not gonna be that way. If you ask me now, when I was a freshman, what I think would happen in the next three and a half, four years, I would not say what happened because it's unpredictable. College is kind of that time of your life where anything can happen. You gotta go with the flow. It's like a time where you really can be on autopilot and it's fine. But in the case of my experience, I wanted to go to UCF because that's where a lot of my friends were going. And I was kind of thinking that I wanted that party experience, that classic, typical college experience where you're drinking and having a good time. But UCF didn't accept me, so I had to go to FAU. And FAU proved to be actually a really good school. It's small, it's low key, but I've been enjoying my time there. But when I was a freshman, I didn't see it that way. I just saw it as I'm not getting that college experience. So for the first year, besides all the things that were going on in my personal life, my school life just felt Boring. So as soon as I had enough credits and I saw the opportunity to make that change to UCF, I took it, which was terrifying, but I did it. And that was my first time living on my own. And I had a pretty good time for a few months. I got everything I needed to get out of my system and I realized that I don't really want this. <laughs> Sometimes it takes experiencing something to know that you don't really want it, you think you want it. And partying in college was one of those things. I didn't really care for it. I just thought I needed to do it. I thought it was like a rite of passage thing. But my time in Orlando still was really transformative of me as a person. I was terrified to move away from my family, but I did it. And it felt amazing when I was actually there. Of course, I was terrified up to the moment leaving them, but once I left them, I was excited, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, mom. But then after a few months of the same old kind of thing every day, I wasn't feeling fulfilled anymore. So I decided I needed to make another change. As you can tell, I'm a very all or nothing person. It's kind of annoying actually. But there were so many things in Orlando that distracted me. And that made me realize that what I really want is to find my purpose. I've always made videos. I've always knew I wanted to do film, but when I was at UCF, I was a marketing major. I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just chasing experience. I wasn't really chasing what I really wanted. That's when COVID hit and I decided, you know what? This is a sign for me. I'm gonna move back home and I'm gonna chase my dreams. I'm gonna become a filmmaker. Moving back home proved to be the right decision for me. And that essentially led me up until this moment that I'm at right now. Of course, so much has happened between then and now, but for the most part, I've been working on getting better each day. I've been doing projects that excite me. I've been finding opportunities for myself. And I'm really pleased with the path that I'm on in life right now. I don't tell you this to make it seem like I have it all figured out because trust me, I don't. But I tell you this because if you're in school right now and you don't know what you're doing or you're a freshman starting school this semester and you're scared out of your mind, all you need to know is that you don't need to do anything. The experience that you're destined to have is gonna have regardless of what you do. 
So yeah, enjoy yourself. Let these be the years that you're on autopilot. College is a good place to party for sure, but it's more than that too. Use it as a time to really explore and find yourself. Roll with the punches, no matter what happens, just take it in as a breath of fresh air. Just don't stress too much. They may not be the best years of your life, they may be the best years of your life, but they'll definitely be some of the most transformative years of your life. And you should be more excited for that than anything else. All right, that's it. I just wanted to be quick, and I just wanted to kind of like tell a little bit of a story, I guess. Even though I told the whole story in the intro, and then I kind of retold it. Whatever. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have those links in the description. And once again, if you're starting college, good luck. If you're going back, good luck. And if you're graduating and you don't know what you're doing with your life, let's talk. Because I need someone to talk to. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs>